Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships the YouTube channel and welcome to a new video. Now today we're going to do a walk around of a cruise terminal. Now if you don't recognize in the background where we are, this is actually Cozumel, Mexico and this is the international pier in Cozumel. So this is actually the pier where most of the Royal Caribbean ships sail in and out of in Cozumel. So if you're not really fully aware, there's three cruise terminals in Cozumel. There's the downtown pier, Punta Langosta, there's the International Pier where we are today, and there is also the Puerto Maya Pier, which is where most of the carnival ships sail from. So we're going to do a full walk around of the International Pier. We're going to check out all the stores and see what there is to offer, maybe check out the restaurants. So yeah, now this is a little bit of a longer video. Again, if you've watched some of my other cruise terminal walk arounds, you'll know that the videos maybe are about 20 or 30 minutes. So if you're a follower of I Like Cruise Ships, this is going to be a video for you, especially if you're on a Royal Caribbean ship at some point and you're coming to Cozumel, Mexico, you'll be able to check out this video ahead of time and see some of the shops and see what there is to offer. And you'll know what to come and buy when you get off the ship. All right, guys, uh, stick around. The video is going to start really soon and enjoy the walk around of the International Pier in Cozumel, Mexico. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start the walk around right from the pier. And you can see there's actually Enchantment of the Seas in port today. And it's a one ship visit. So you actually notice that the terminal is gonna be a little bit quieter than if it's a two ship visit. And I'm actually gonna walk from the kind of entrance part of the, of the uh, pier. And you'll see here, basically there's the guards here that check your ID to get back on the ship. And on the other side, you'll see there where you come off, there's a lady doing bag checking, looking for fruits and things like that. Just remember, don't bring that kind of thing into Mexico. Fruits and uh, any kind of food. And you'll see these two big bags there that are full of food. So yeah, let's walk around, shall we? Now it's actually a beautiful sunny day, so it's gonna be a very nice uh, walk around here. Now I actually, I call this the International Pier. Um, and basically all of the Royal Caribbean ships uh, dock here. Uh, the carnival ships you'll see just off in the distance at Puerto Maya right over there. And the first place you're going to see when you come right off the ships is Margaritaville. Now hopefully the volume of the music's not too loud. I'm going to try and do this whole video unedited. But yeah, nice place for lunch. And the only thing is if you're on Royal Caribbean your view is of the carnival ships. <laughs> so no worries I don't think. If you like ships, I think the view doesn't really matter. But they have a nice menu here, Margaritaville. And yeah, let's keep walking. So these are kind of uh, signs right here where you'd get your shore excursions from. So if you booked on the ship, you'll see these signs, three reef snorkel by boat, clear kayak, uh, last minute tour tickets available. So yeah, tequila experience by Jose Cuervo. I don't think it's actually by the guy. But yeah, you can, uh, meet right off the, the pier right here and then your excursions will sort of depart from right by the pier and there's plenty of people at the restaurant for early morning it's almost lunchtime so what we'll do is we'll kind of do a full loop around the terminal so again this is a, a walk around of the cruise terminal here in Cozumel where the Royal Caribbean ships dock commonly known as International Pier so yeah Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville there's the sort of shop right there as well all the staff are kind of meeting for a little get together. Uh, there's lots of different shops here. It does have a little much quieter feel over here than it does at the Carnival Terminal. It's a little bit more chilled out. I think this is actually like a perfume shop. Oh, you saw me in the mirror there. Just. And of course, uh, being Cozumel, there's plenty of uh, trinkets and uh, flea market style stalls. If you did watch the Progresso video, uh, this has a lot of similar shops. Um, we'll actually see if we can get in the duty free shop towards the end of the video. We'll have a walk through and <laughs> there we go. It's definitely a more chilled, more relaxed feel when you walk around here. It's not as busy as if you're at the Carnival Pier. Lots and lots of uh, jewelry, lots of silver. Yeah, no worries. I'm going to do a walk around. So yeah, the, um, the shops here it seem very laid back, not as pressured. There is a pharmacy right here as well, if you need any pharmacy items. And you'll see on this back wall right here, plenty of things. 
and there's also some drinks and snacks in this first shop right here so if you're really hanging out for sugar and salt there's the fiesta rum cakes these are mexican rum cakes uh, it's kind of cool if you haven't uh, tried them before there's lots of hot sauces as well if you haven't sort of been to this store before now, interestingly the guy that started this worked on cruise ships and he is living here in Cozumel now and a big souvenir shop so yeah lots and lots of uh, let's say usual Mexican souvenirs keychains hats t-shirts vanilla is everywhere and there's some tequila there's some even some ice cream as well oh look at that I'm not sure if it's very Mexican to have ice cream but another silver jewelry store there we go Hi for everybody back home. <laughs> it's going to be on YouTube. You're going to be famous. Right. Are you ready to be famous? Yes. Okay. Ready. No worries. <laughs> uh, boots and leather shops. So we saw in Progresso as well, if you watch the other video, the leather uh, shops as well. You get that nice smell when you walk in. I think, that, they, I think they purposely get that smell of leather going through the, video, the air conditioning. Lots of silver. There we go. We'll keep walking around. Viva Mexico. So Viva Mexico is one of the main souvenir shops in Cozumel. There's a couple of uh, locations downtown. Not the most exciting part, the bathrooms, but we'll keep walking. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the video probably will end up at about 20 or 30 minutes long. Let's see how we go. I tend to not rush to walk around, but I'm going to do this one with a voiceover rather than doing it later on. Oh, more jewelry, silver. And uh, Joy Bay, it's a bright colored items in here. You can see the beach bags. If you want a Cozumel beach bag, lots of bright items. It's always nice to take home uh, bright souvenirs, I think. Now I notice here when you walk around, there's two different uh, tiki huts and we'll get to it a little bit. There's one here with Wi-Fi. More jewelry right here. Lots of gemstones. Now, a lot of the guys uh, working here, they're obviously all waiting for everyone coming back in the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> Ron John Surf Shop. So there is a Ron John at the Carnival Terminal and here at the International Terminal as well. Actually a fairly big store too. Uh, if you're maybe from Florida, you'll know Ron John Surf Shop in Cocoa Beach. So yeah, let's just talk about this Tiki Hut for a minute. So this is kind of a very big uh, Tiki Hut and you can actually get Wi-Fi right here free. And you'll see most people sort of sitting here <laughs> taking advantage of the free Wi-Fi. And of course, it's the other entrance to Ron John's. Also some drinks right there, but lots of t-shirts, touch of gold, very famous uh, downtown store as well. There we go. Island jewels. So plenty of different shops. Uh, yeah, lots of silver. Yeah. Very nice. So don't forget when you come to Cozumel to uh, take a look at these stores. If you are getting off in the morning and you don't have excursions, another leather store. Oh, check out that, the gun holsters. How cool are they? Leather belts. Some wind catchers right there. <laughs> ah, no. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm just walking around. Oh, here's all the noise. This is handmade tequila. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. All the YouTube watchers are going to come. Get ready next week. <laughs> you can hear it. Oh, chili tequila. Wow. Flea market. So another souvenir store. You'll find with the flea market style shops, uh, a lot of the prices are a little bit lower. Uh, a lot of multi-buy pricing. Look, fans for one dollar. And you'll find some of the prices in pesos, but pretty much everywhere you go will take US dollars. It's not a problem. And being Mexico, Mexican prices as well. So Effie Jewelers. So Effie Jewelers is on some of the cruise ships as well. You can come outside and see Effie on the pier also. All right, now this may seem a little bit confusing. We're going to walk in a circle. We'll end up sort of back in the middle and back at the ship eventually. Another silver store. Lots of silver. And then, so to get out to the parking and the taxis, we're kind of almost at the exit here. You can actually see one of the kind of uh, tour exits. 
and then there's a kind of a terminal building and there's a little cafe here as well which is a little bit more authentic Mexican uh, food a little menu on the wall nothing too tricky but you know, there's actually a cenote here I'm pretty I wonder if this is natural I'm sure it is and they basically uh, rather than let's say concreting it over you can actually see the water bubbling just down there so how cool is that and I've never noticed that but I've been here before and I've never noticed that how crazy is that so yeah there's uh, some souvenirs here on these uh, kind of flea market stands some of these places like this with the, the stalls, they're a little bit more negotiable on the price. All right, and there's a walkthrough shop right here. We'll kind of brush, brush through this. And then you're gonna, music's gonna kicking in a little bit. Snack bar Mandy. And they have tequila as well, rum. So lots and lots of silver shops. We know that very well. Oh, three charms, wow. <laughs> so yeah, so again, when you're looking for the silver, just don't be a little bit scared if they put the silver on scales and they're gonna give you kind of market price for the silver. Um, yeah, nice. More leather, more leather. <laughs> and these Mexican uh, skulls from Day of the Dead. How cool are they? They're very cool. Island jewels. So definitely for me when I walked around here, if I compare it to walking in the, the Carnival Pier, it's definitely a bit more of a chilled atmosphere, more relaxed. The uh, staff aren't as pushy and it's definitely a more chilled out kind of feel. All right, so we'll kind of come through this kind of mall if you like and we'll end up at the other side so it may be kind of hard to follow the video about where you are walking in the terminal here. I guess that's the idea of shops, is to kind of really get you a little bit lost. Bracelet with your name. We know these very well. Bags for $2.99. What? On sale. Nice. And again, uh, Joy Bay. So there's another outlet right here. Shot glasses for $1. So yeah, you can get all sorts of things. Uh, Whatever you thought you couldn't find, you'll find it here, I think, without even leaving the cruise terminal. Mm -hmm. Lots of t-shirts. Oh, my hand's getting a little shaky. Let's swap hands. And we're kind of at the beginning where we've just walked through, but we'll kind of go over to the, the left-hand side of the pier. Wow, Mexican coins with your name. How cool are these? They're kind of like a, like a pendant. That's kind of cool. All right, so we'll actually make the duty free shop the last stop at the end of the video and then we'll come over to this right hand side of the terminal over here. We'll kind of see all the shops and business on the right hand side. Roma jewelry, gold and silver. Uh, and free charms, there we go. They got the wind catchers as well. Ultram. So again, this is a walk around of the cruise terminal. Just to give you an idea of what's in the stores, what you can expect when you get off the ship. Ooh, Australian gold sunscreen. There we go. We know it very well. Lots of pharmacy items as well. Uh, the Mexican vanilla. So yeah. So this is really an informative video. Again, if you like watching my other uh, cruise terminal walkarounds, it's going to be very similar, of course, different place. No question, and I'm doing this all very unscripted. Uh, so just walk around, see what we see. This guy's been here a little while. He looks pretty chilled out. <laughs> nice for a photo stop. And again, lots of uh, trinkets, $10 sunglasses. So if you are really walking off the ship and you've forgotten everything, you'll find it here somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, another silver store. Now, silver uh, in Mexico is very famously from Oaxaca. Oaxaca? Now, you need to Google it if you're not sure. So, where you don't see very much gold is because the Mexicans really want to promote their own products. And silver being a very big part of Mexican culture. And that's why you'll see silver, silver, silver. So, yeah, that's where... 
You'll see uh, most stores without go very little gold in the stores. Also, silver is a lot more uh, reasonably priced. So yeah, another couple of different flea markets. Now I wonder if you're coming to these flea markets, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to bargain a little bit, especially the ones without the prices and signs. Seven for twenty dollars, no exchanges or refunds. I guess if you're going to go on the ship, it's going to be hard to exchange it. So make sure you get the right sizes. Now, kind of crazy tip, but always get a size bigger because I'm pretty sure you're going to have more food getting off the ship. <laughs> so you always get an extra size or so bigger. A few more flea market uh, style shops. Yeah, lots of uh, Day of the Dead items. There's some um, pyramids there for uh, Chichen Itza. And if you can't ever remember Chichen Itza, always remember Chicken Pizza. Chicken Pizza, Chichen Itza. You'll never get it wrong. <laughs> oh, look at all these uh, shell jewelry right here. These ornaments and all the different animals. These are very cool. Now, I've seen these before in a few places, but I can look at them over and over and over. Now, I call these uh, Jamaican peace pipes, but they've uh, got Cozumel on them, of course. Lots of shell jewelry. Now, this is the second uh, restaurant here, which is Bubba Gump's. Now, it actually says uh, beach, bar, and party. Now, the only thing is, there's not really a beach because you're at a pier. So, you can swim. Oh, there's a few people in the water now. When I came a little earlier, there wasn't. Might get a little bit breezy here. You can see the ship off in the distance. This has a bit of a better view of the ship, so if you are coming just to chill out. Now, we'll actually walk right down here because it's super nice water. It's super, super clear. How clear is this water? It almost looks like it's like fake water. <laughs> People stopping for a photo. Now, the beach part is over here, and then the water part's over on this side. And there's actually a mini tramp over there as well. But check out the view of the ship from right here. How cool is that? Let's have a look up here a little bit. Just see a few more people. So yeah, if you know uh, Bubba Gumps, actually then I, I've been to two different Bubba Gumps. I've been to the one in Miami, and I've been to the one in, uh, in Hawaii as well. So very nice food here as well. And some nice chill out chairs right here. If you want to relax. There we go. So you can definitely jump in and have a swim. And it's a little bit uh, breezy. But if you're okay swimming, no problems. Jump in and go for it. Look at the color of the water. Now, that is Cozumel in a nutshell right there. A little bit of seaweed, but that's normal here. So you'll see that it isn't really a beach. Because you can see the jetties there for all the hotels off in the distance. And senior frogs coming up. So yeah, I hope this video uh, is kind of cool and enjoying. Again, it's a walk around of the cruise terminal. Here, uh, the International Cruise Terminal. Now, they call it SSA Mexico, which is the, basically the people running the terminal. But uh, it's commonly known as the International Terminal or an International Pier. So this is kind of the second uh, side of where we've walked around. So we came through the big building there in the distance where we saw all the shops in that kind of mall style thing. Oh, I don't want to get in that picture. Sorry. Right, we'll see why I don't want to get in that picture in a second. This is a really cool Cozumel sign right here. Check that out. And I wonder if I push in front, I'll get next. Probably not. <laughs> we'll scooch right between everybody. You're going to be famous on YouTube. Get ready to be famous. <laughs> but that's a cool spot for a photo. I think so anyway. So yeah, Senior Frogs right here, another famous Cozumel institution, I think we'd call this. A uh, bit of music playing as well. We'll kind of walk past a little bit because the music tended to interfere with the video. Some uh, shell ornaments here, these are pretty cool as well. And this is kind of one of the more uh, famous souvenir shops here, Los Cinco Soles. Um, You'll see a little bit nicer quality sort of stuff in the shop than some of the flea market stalls. It's not as busy either because it's not the flea market style shop. It's, uh, it's a little bit more organized. Senior Frog's gift shop. So yeah, there's a... Let's have a little peek in, shall we? Into Los Cinco Soles. We 
can see here uh, it's nice and spread out the shop and they've got lots of uh, souvenirs again but you'll just find a little bit nicer quality there's another tequila stall here so one thing that's uh, noticeable in the tequila shops is that most of them aren't the sort of brand names that we know back home so you're not going to see them really promoting Patron, Jose Cuervo, Sours, or these kind of brands because really they're more about all of the other brands. Now this is kind of cool. If you've been to Mexico before, you'll see these guys uh, around the place doing the, the paintings. Now they do these with the airbrush. So these are very cool. Now he basically takes all of these from China and he's just doing one painting over here. We're just kidding. We know he's doing them all day long. Now the amount of work these, how long do they take normally to make these? 45 minutes, 45 minutes. 45 minutes for each one. Wow. Look at the turtle right there. This guy's really working for these, 45 minutes per uh, painting. Now if you've ever seen these uh, in different places in Mexico, check them out. There's a lot of themed ones as well, so if you want sporting themed ones, you see up the top here, there's the helmets from your sporting teams. So these aren't something that you can buy at home. They're very much handmade right here. So make sure you check it out. All right, so this is kind of the second terminal entrance from the main road here. So if you are coming back to the ship, there's this second uh, shopping village. Ooh, we're just coming up to 20 minutes. I reckon we'll get the video in under 30 minutes. Let's see. So this is kind of the exit out to the taxis. Again, we'll see all the stores that we've seen kind of duplicated, but a little bit different. Now, the main leather store in Cozumel, which we saw also in Progresso, was Roger's Boots. This is the one, let's say the original leather store. And then everybody else sort of took their uh, offerings and changed the name. But the original leather store in Cozumel right here. All right, let's spin around. Lots of uh, dresses. You'll see here the sign there, to the ship, straight down or turn left. And we'll kind of end up where we were. So we'll kind of go through, ooh, we'll go this way. So again, we'll see more stores off in the distance. So slowly some people heading back to the pier from outside. So where the taxis drop you off and you end up in the terminal here. Take out these, these are kind of tequila bottles in the shape of a bullet. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Now they do mention a lot handmade tequila. Now the original way of making tequila was very much handmade. They had donkeys, they had big stones that would crush the agave plants. So uh, handmade really. Oh, check out the cigars as well. I wonder if these are Mexican cigars. They've actually got a, a proper humidor right here. So the guy's got somebody inside there with the, the uh, air conditioner on there getting the right temperature. The souvenir store. See, so we've kind of looped around almost to where we started. So again, yeah, they've got some signage right here. We might just have a look at this. It says there Tiki Hut 1, Tiki Hut 2, restrooms, internet, and Bubba Gumps. So that one where we were earlier with the free Wi-Fi. And I'm guessing they kind of use them as meeting points as well. So it's kind of handy as a meeting point. Just walking around, checking out the place, and see all the souvenirs. Hi, these are uh, Jamaican peace pipes again. Oh, check out all these! Oh, there's alligators and crocodiles here. How cool are they? Cats. Uh, lots of uh, souvenirs. Check out these horses back here. These are all can carved. There's a lot, a lot of work goes into these uh, handmade souvenirs. So we're almost back to where we started. Up there, you want to feel more souvenirs up there? Flea market? Uh, I think I'm going to get back to the ship. I've seen, I've seen lots of souvenir shops. <laughs> oh, no worries. Don't worry, be happy. All right, we're going to look for Mario. Mario, I am Mario. Oh, Mario, Mario here. Mario to Jose. Mario Bros. Super yeah. Mario. Oh, it really is Mario. Mario. I got Super Mario Bros. I'm serious. <laughs> nice. <Figurines. laughs> cool. All right. So, yeah, there's a second level. 
And I'm pretty sure this guy uh, really struggles to get people up those stairs to the other souvenir shops, I'm sure. Uh, I mean, there is a lot of shops here. If I, even if I compare it to the Carnival Pier, there is a lot more souvenir shops. And they're all uh, kind of wanting your attention, I guess you could say, but there isn't really the pressure uh, when you walk through. I'm pretty sure maybe this is just part of the cruise terminal when you compare the two different uh, piers when you walk through. Now, let's see if we can get through the duty-free shop. Maybe, maybe not. Now, there is an ATM here. Now, I'll absolutely suggest don't use the ATMs in Mexico. Uh, even if the world ends and you need money, borrow from somebody. Because it is known that some of the ATMs in Mexico and here in Cozumel have uh, had people lose money and things like that. So, yeah, there's plenty of signage here to Mexico. Oh, sorry, to Mexico. To the ship. I say Mexico so many times. So yeah, we've done a little bit of a walk around. We've almost got a little bit lost. But this will be just the last part right here. All right, so this is the um, actual duty-free store for returning to the ship. And you'll see plenty of uh, so many Oh, and the music as well. No, the music. We'll kind of walk through. So if you want your traditional liquors. Now, one thing I mentioned or didn't probably mention properly about the cigarettes was the cigarettes aren't American made. So just make note of those big warning signs on them. That's a good way to know that they're not US made. Or oh, they have Richard Hennessy back there. Check out Richard right there. How cool is that? Uh, King George, oh, lots of Grammania. So yeah, there's perfume. Plenty of different liquors. Oh, they're doing tasting on uh, Don Julio. So again, this is uh, one of the actual branded duty-free stores similar to at the airports. Their air conditioning works really well here too, so that's why it's a little noisy. And they've got all the perfumes here as well. And the coolest thing as well, they've got all the signage right on the shelves, so you can check out the prices without asking. You don't have to feel as intimidated buying things. Oh, tequila tasting, Juana. So yeah, we'll kind of walk through and we'll come towards the pier. And we've pretty much done one entire loop around. So I hope you've really liked this uh, video. Now again, this is intentional, uh, oop, that's, uh, intentional uh, walk around of the International Pier here in Cozumel. And I hope you found it useful. Now, you can't bring bikes off the ship. That's probably a crew member, I would believe. The ships have bikes for crew members. And you can borrow them and bring them off the ship. Uh, it's a lot of paperwork to do, but if you really want to get a free bike as a crew member on the ship, you can definitely do that. And we're going to get right to the pier and kind of stop just here. And we're back at the start of the video. There we go. Okay, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, this is going to pretty much be the end of the video. As you know, if you watch any of my other videos, I always do an intro at the beginning, film what we're going to walk around, or I do the outro right here, the ending. So yeah, I like cruise ships, the YouTube channel. We've been here in Cozumel today. We've done a walk around of the International Pier. I hope you liked it. A little bit long, of course, but again, it's detailed. It shows you all the shops right here in the cruise terminal. Uh, if you aren't a subscriber to the channel, click the subscribe button. I like cruise ships. If you maybe like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you maybe I've missed something, uh, post a comment right at the bottom for me. Sometimes I get the words mixed up or the names mixed up, so I'm sorry. Uh, some of the other videos, I always get some good feedback, so thanks for that. Uh, if you've watched the videos before, thanks for watching. If you're a first time watcher, click that subscribe button. There's a lot of people who haven't subscribed and maybe come across this video by searching. So yeah, hope you like the International Pier cruise terminal walk around need to get the words right so so yeah thanks for watching i like cruise ships the youtube channel from here in cozumel mexico and i'll see you in another video bye for now bye